South Africa has been struggling to create jobs with economic growth stuttering along at just 1%. But the latest unemployment numbers came as a shock. Construction and manufacturing suffered the heaviest blow, losing 88,000 and 80,000 jobs respectively in the first quarter of this year. This is far worse than had been anticipated and it's a, a strong reminder of the fact that our economy is not in a, grow mo a growth mode. If it is, it's a very slow growth mode and the risk is that we could see it sliding backwards to a contraction. The government remained a major employer, creating 51,000 jobs. And despite the severe drought, the agricultural sector also helped, creating 16,000 jobs. But 5.7 million people in South Africa still can't find employment. What's more alarming is the youth unemployment rate. Millions of young South Africans, even those with skills, are struggling to find job opportunities. The youth makes up almost half of South Africa's population. According to the International Labour Organization, youth unemployment stands close to 53%. I think we need government. Of course, they are trying if you compare with the, with the private sectors, that they are major employer. But I think they need to, to do more in terms of addressing the youth unemployment. Even if we're talking about some youth brigade and etc. 8.9 million people not working. It's just a disaster. The Labour Federation is now calling on the Reserve Bank to lower interest rates. Despite low growth, inflation ticked up, forcing the central bank to hike rates. While food prices fueled inflation, higher wages also contributed. With fewer people employed, wage demands are expected to increase. 60% of our people earn less than 5,000 rand a month. It's not sustainable. They cannot meet. I mean, people spend 30% 30, 30 of their income just on transport because they are too far from the workplace. They spend about 70% on their money on, the, on food. Consumers' finances are overstretched. They're over-indebted to, to an exceptionally high level and interest rates are about to start going up, have already started going up. So that means their overall cost of living it has risen and, of course, discretionary income has meant there is so much less available for stimulating the economy. The government is now pulling out all the stops to keep the economy from faltering further. The president met with big business and labor Monday night to discuss the way forward. The private sector too will be under pressure to help revive the economy and create jobs. Smitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.